It's Garbage Pail Kids. Do kids like play with these? I guess they're trading cards. Are you serious? Wow. Are they stickers? The stickers! They're not the best looking. These look cool. I collected these for about a year, and then I gave up on it. Garbage Pail Kids! So what these are, they're called Garbage Pail Kids. Have you ever heard of Garbage Pail Kids? Nope. No. I've never heard of Garbage Pail Kids before. Are cards more of a past toy, or are they still around? They're still around. No, I think people are more into Pokemon. The only thing that I know that I've heard of, like, people that use is, like, Pokemon. I think that's mostly in the past. They are not popular today because now we have technology that's a lot more interesting. These cards that were also stickers used to come in packs where you get five cards in a pack and a stick of gum. Why do you think they were so popular in the 1980s? Maybe kids liked eating gum? Because it's kind of like Pokemon cards. They're stickers so like you could put them on your door. I guess, which is what I do. Because kids didn't have a lot to do. They went to last resorts. So what do you think of Large Marge? She's very large. She probably weighs more than an adult. It's rude because they're calling her kind of like fat. All right, next one is Half Nelson. Whoa. Okay, this is like a half girl, half construction worker. Half Nelson is actually very interesting. I've never thought about mixing genders, and it's a very unique idea. And then there's Hothead Harvey. This guy looks pretty cool. I mean, he's not disgusting or gross. I don't get why it's called Hothead Harvey, because it's like it's like a transformer. So when these cards were very, very popular, some schools banned them and wouldn't let kids have them in class. Why do schools sometimes ban cards? Because they're gross! I think you'd know if you'd look at them. That kind of gives it all. It's kind of being like rude because like they're kind of making fun of the people. So when these first came out, they were made in part to make fun of a very popular toy called Cabbage Patch Kids. Have you ever heard of Cabbage Patch Kids? Yeah, that explains why the name sounded familiar. I remember those. My parents have talked about it before. So we're gonna show you a picture here of the Cabbage Patch dolls that these were making fun of. Never seen anything like this. It's disturbing. All of these just staring at you. They're pretty cool. I want them. I want that one and that one and that one. I don't really play with dolls anymore, but if I did have a doll, I'd probably want one of these. So back to the cards. They became so popular that there was a movie and even a TV show for the Garbage Trail Kids back in the 80s. I don't understand. Do you think that if these cards came out today, they would be just as popular as they were in the 1980s? Maybe it would be kind of popular because they're bringing it back like, oh, look, it's the new thing again. No, they would not. No. Because all the little kids who used to love these are now adults. No, because not that many kids know about them. But apparently Target does, because that's where I got mine.